an $800 stabilizer versus an $80 stabilizer. But is it worth it? Hey man, thanks a lot. I actually really appreciate your help. That's all I need. What do you mean that's all you need? This was a big waste of my time. What do you mean that was a big waste of time? You're wasting my time right now. I'm about to lose all my audience. You know what? I am gonna go and I'm gonna take this with me. Yo, I need that to make the video. Haha, -ha, little does he know, I got the real one and he's got the fake one. Oh sh, I think I got the fake one. Alright guys, so before we get on with the video, just wanted to apologize for that rude guy. I don't know what his problem was, but you know what? We got two stabilizers in front of us, so let's get into the video. This one is an electronic stabilizer made by DJI. It's called the Ronin S. It's an amazing stabilizer slash gimbal. I love using it, and I actually just recently got it. So this one, like I said, is an electronic stabilizer. It has motors in here that is battery powered with the battery over here. As you can see, the green lights. The battery is on right now. I don't know if you can see the green lights, but maybe I'll get a zoom in shot. And this one right over here has no batteries, has no power, but it still stabilizes your camera. This is called a steady cam or sometimes called a glide cam. I believe glide cam is the name of a company that makes this device, but this one was made by newer. And I got this on Amazon for about 80 bucks and it actually works very well. How this stabilizes your camera is it uses counterweights at the bottom over here to kind of you know counterweight the camera on top yeah it works great is the $800 worth this gimbal versus when you can get a stabilizer for only 80 bucks you're about to find out in this video now that we have established that both of these devices will get you nice buttery smooth footage let's talk about the four categories they will be competing in so the first one will be stabilization how well do they stabilize your footage and the second one is going to be portability how is it to travel with both of these devices? Is this one easier to travel with or is this one easier to travel with? And third is easiness. How easy is it to use this device versus this device? And lastly, the price. Are these two devices worth it and should you spend your hard earned cash on them? Let's talk about the first category, stabilization. I got two clips for you guys. There's clip A and there's clip B. I'm not going to tell you which clip was shot with the gimbal or which clip was shot with the steady cam. But I'm going to put them up right now and I want you guys to guess which clip was shot with which device. Clip A was actually the gimbal and clip B was the Steadicam. So if you guessed that right, make sure you hit that like button down below because that is also the right answer and the choice you're given down there. But you know what? The Steadicam held up a really good fight and I feel like, I mean, the footage was very close to what the gimbal provided. And maybe I'm not as experienced with the Steadicam as some other people are and they can get gimbal-like smooth footage. So in this category, I'm going to have to give it to the gimbal. When it comes to traveling with the DJI Ronin S, it actually becomes a pain in the butt. It comes with such a big carrying case, and for you to be able to fit the DJI Ronin S in that big carrying case, you have to disassemble the whole thing. First, you gotta take off the tripods, then you have to take off the handle, which is also the battery, then you can start putting everything into the compartments. But for me, because my camera balances in a way where this arm is extended almost all the way out, I have to put this arm back in so that I can fit into the compartment and if I don't then I have to just carry the gimbal as is without the case if I do carry it as is and not put it into the big box that DJI provides I feel like it, it might break you know I can't just throw it in the back of my trunk or throw it into my car and you know just expect it to be okay after Toronto traffic I love traveling with the Steadicam because all I have to do is So for portability, this one definitely goes to the Steadicam. It's just so easy and simple. 
The next category is easiness. How easy is it to use these devices? So let's talk about the DJI Ronin S. For me, I think this is the best gimbal for someone who doesn't even know anything about filmmaking. So if I were to just kind of hand this over to anyone who's never filmed anything in their life, and I just tell them to hold this and walk with it, they'll be able to get nice cinematic smooth footage because it's electronic and the gimbal does all of the work when it comes to stabilizing your footage. And when it comes to this right here, which is a steady cam, it's actually a lot harder and you do need more practice to be able to get really nice cinematic footage out of this. You can't just hold this like the gimbal and just walk, expect to get nice cinematic footage. What you'll have to do is you, you have to hold this with your other hand, but not put any weight on your left hand and the left hand is only for you to kind of pan or to be, you know, keeping the camera straight. And then after that, you also have to do the ninja walk. Don't necessarily have to do the ninja walk with the DJI Ronin S, but with this, you absolutely have to do the ninja walk or your footage will come out a little shaky. Kind of like the footage you saw in clip B, I was doing the ninja walk, but not as good as I should have been doing it. So for this category, the DJI Ronin S definitely gets the point. All right, so when it comes to price, I feel like you guys already know who gets it. Obviously the Steadicam, it's 80 bucks. You get really good performance out of it for $80. And then, you know, just throw on some warp stabilization on there and you're good to go. And before all of that, you need really good practice using the Steadicam and really good practice doing the Ninja Walk. And if you can master that, you can get gimbal-like performance or if anything, even better. The DJI Ronin S does give you really nice cinematic smooth footage, but then remember, it comes with an $800 price tag, which not a lot of people want to spend just for a gimbal. And with enough practice, you can actually get gimbal-like performance out of a device like this. You just need to, like I said, practice and go out there and shoot as much as you can. A lot of professionals actually does use this over the gimbal and get really nice footage. So for this round, I'm definitely going to have to give it to the Steadicam. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. And if you liked it, make sure you hit that like button down below because that is the right choice. And make sure you comment down below. Let me know, what are you more interested in? The Steadicam or the gimbal? What do you like more? What, what are you trying to get in the future? What do you already have? Let me know in the comment section down below. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you want to keep seeing nice content like this. And I will see you guys in the next video. Damn, the, the lens is a little too far from me. Hold on.